Entertainment, an international New York Toronto based music producer, DJ Pa, is live in Nigeria, the giant of Africa, to kick off his African tour. Chatting with entertainment journalist in Lagos, DJ Pa, who is visiting Africa for the first time, said he is set for a memorable and groundbreaking African tour. He described the tour as a groundbreaking journey that would not only allow him to immerse himself in Nigeria's vibrant music scene, but also to collaborate with other music superstars in Nigeria and Africa to produce Afrobeat music. DJ Pa said he's always been captivated by Africa's rich musical heritage and duly recognized Nigeria's pivotal role in shaping the global music landscape. He noted that his goal is to create groundbreaking tracks that would resonate with audiences worldwide, showcasing the essence of Afrobeat. First, I would like to say, me being from Caribbean and North America, I'm bringing my style of mixing and remixing genres and fusing everything together. I have a very mashup style of DJing where I fuse different genres and mix up stuff. Um, you may hear <laughs> Shali Papi on a trap beat. You may hear <laughs> Vibes Cartel <laughs> on a Afrobeat song. So I, this is what I like to do. I like to surprise you. I like to just and make you come and make you dance. And you're not thinking about what I'm hearing. You're just going with the flow and dancing. And that's my style. It's very aggressive. It's very fun. Um, it's very rhythmic. It's very um, high energy. So you just expect a collab, like a pot. You know, and you mix it up, you put all kinds of stuff in there and it comes out amazing. That's my style of DJ. We graduated letters to the government, the Lagos State government, the Minister of Environment, to be part of what we want to do. And um, what we usually do is um, we first of all let the government know what we want to do because um, part of the things we want to do, the solutions we want to bring, is a good thing for the government yeah, um, because the government gives you the enabling environment you know, to make these things work faster. So we go to them to make sure they give us the policies we need, and the guidance we need, the do's and don'ts, so that um, everything we do with them is fine. We've already written letters to LASMA, Road Safety, and, uh, and the Commissioner of Police about the event. And also, they have promised to give us uh, two standby ambulances for the crowd in case of any unforeseen circumstances. Thank you very much. Okay. DJ Power disclosed that aside from Nigeria, the Africa tour will include stops in other musically renowned countries such as Ethiopia, South Africa, among others. He also spoke on the need to conserve the environment and mitigate the impact of greenhouse gases on the ecosystem. The music industry, the creative industry, has a large footprint globally. And anything that the creatives focus on has a tendency to work. And so as we move to protect the planet, if we're able to get the youth to understand that their future is only assured if they key in and ensure that their planet is protected, using a medium that they believe in, which is music and other creative platforms, we can engender success and sustainability, educate, the young ones, educate them on very simple things that you might not necessarily know has an impact on climate change. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.